Welcome to Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. You can find us at lcara.net, on Facebook, on YouTube, and on Instagram. If you're enjoying the videos we're producing here at Elcara, please help our club out by hitting that subscribe button. Also, give us some feedback on our videos. Click the like button, share with anybody who may find it interesting, and be sure and hit the bell icon to make sure you get notified of the next video release. Well, hey there, this is KY4BDP Brian for the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association. Short little video today, I wanted to uh, bring a, an accessory, let's call it. Uh, I've been, let's say, worried, maybe a little anxious, maybe a little unsure about what I wanted to do. I've got these new antennas that I put up. You've seen a couple of those videos. If you haven't, go and take a look at our antenna playlist. Um, and I've got cables that I need to bring into the house. Now, as most of you, you know, Elmers out there would know, well, hey, Brian, you just need one of those window things, or you just need to drill a hole and, and uh, you know, put in some pipe and some steel wool to keep the critters out and that sort of thing. It's, it's, it's easy, probably. But remember, this is KY4BDP Brian. I, I, I'm really not looking forward to drilling a hole in my wall and the windows that I have in my house are different. They actually rotate and open out that way instead of up and down. So I don't have the stereotypical setup. So I was watching another video on another YouTube channel by Hoshnasi. If you guys haven't seen Ham Radio Crash Course, that's definitely a channel that you'll want to go have a look at. And he's part of the inspiration for uh, KY4, CKP, and I for doing this channel. Of course, ours is more club related, but many of the items that Josh puts on his channel, uh, we, we look at, just like most of us in the Ham Radio uh, uh, organizations and in our hobby. And one of the things that he happened to just kind of go by quickly at an HRO event that he was doing in Southern California was this thing called a window jumper. In fact, I have one right here. This is the Comet CTC-50M window jumper. And when I saw it, and I'm thinking about drilling holes in my wall and everything else, I thought, that's what I need to give a go. And so I purchased one. So one of the things we're going to look at quickly in this video, this won't be a long video, is just setting this up so that I can bring one of the antenna cables inside my house. Now I need a jumper cable, I waited for that to come in, that has now come in. So I've got the original cable coming from the antenna for the uh, two meters, let's say, and uh, we'll use the window jumper to bring it in through the door sill so I don't have to drill any holes or anything. But what's really cool about this is its packaging. So I'll bring you back here in the next segment. We'll take it out of the packaging and I'll kind of go over it a little bit and then we'll install it and run some tests. Be right back. Okay, so we're back. So let's take this out of the packaging and let's see what we've got here. So let me put this up where you guys can see it. Take a look at that. It, it, in your mind's eye, you can look at this and you could go, yeah. But then in the other part of your mind's eye, you're going, yeah, but Brian, coax and shielding and all that stuff this isn't going to work, is it? And at least in my brain, that's what I was thinking. And uh, no, it, it should work actually. And I've seen a couple other videos on this. Um, so let's install this. It's got these little caps on the end. So let's take one of them off. And this exposes the SO239 end. So let's put that up where you can see it. it. Looks a little bit different, but you can see where the center conductor will go through. The other one is just like it. I won't uh, take off the cap here. But what you do is you'll put one of these outside. Now, ideally, you would mount this on a piece of wood or something like that just to keep it up off the ground. And then uh, you would plug your coax from your antenna into here, let's say. Then you would slide this under the door, or in an actual window, you would mount these two parts on either side of the window, more like that, right there. And this ribbon cable would go in through um, uh, the door sill, or window sill in this case, and you would close it on top of this ribbon cable, and now you've got the other end on the inside. So cable connected to the antenna cable here, this side on the inside where you can run the jumper from here to a splitter or directly to your radio. So let's go ahead and put that in and then I'll bring you back in and I'll kind of uh, pan the camera and we'll show you the connectivity option here and then we'll give it a test on the radio. So be right back. Okay, and we're back. So as you can see, I've connected one end coming from the antenna. Uh, to one of the SO239 ends, you can see the ribbon cable going across 
the door threshold coming into the house. And then I've got the jumper cable connected to this end, the SO239 there. Now, let's close the door and we'll be able to see how that works. So now the door is closed. Now I've got this coming in from underneath. At the moment this is the most convenient and then this will go back towards the radio. So I'll bring you back and let's give it a test. Okay, so now we have the CTC-50M window jumper from Comet installed. Let's try to put out a call here on the two meter repeater and see if we get anything back. At worst, we'll get a repeater ID, hopefully, but uh, possibly we'll get somebody else to come back to us and we can test out that connection. KY4BDP testing. So now you just heard the repeater ID coming back in CW. So that means that we've got good connectivity going back to the repeater. We could hear it chunk back and we may not get actually somebody uh, responding on a call, but now we know that it works. So the CTC-50M window jumper, it's a way to bring your connectivity into the house without drilling holes. <laughs> without having to purchase one of the windowsill um, spacers, if you will. Those are actually pretty cool. I kind of like those, but I don't have windows for that. Um, but in the short term, until maybe I get brave enough to drill that hole into my wall, I'm going to use one of these. And probably I will order a second one for the HF as well. This is KY4 BDP Brian. If you like this content, please click subscribe. Once you've subscribed, You'll have an opportunity to click on the bell notification for each new video, and most of our videos come out on Friday. Occasionally, we'll have one coming out on Wednesday. In fact, this video may come out on a Wednesday. Um, and make sure that you like those videos and give us some comments. Give us some feedback as to what you like about our content and what you like about the club and what we're presenting. In the meantime, this is KY4BDP Brian wishing you 73s.